Father Charles Matuzic, CSC, died in 1996. And we discovered among his papers a letter written to his parents when he was a young soldier in World War II in Italy. What a letter. He wrote, Dear Mom and Dad, something amazing happened to me. I went to visit a well-known priest in San Giovanni Rotondo. He bears the wounds of Christ. I went to confession to him. He could see into my soul. He told me that I was going to be safe from injury in the war, return home to America, enter the seminary, and become a priest. Wow. Talk about the kingdom of God breaking in and a person being born again by grace in the sacrament of confession. Jesus says the kingdom of God is like the wind, hidden. But you hear it and you feel its presence. In the divine mercy gospel, Jesus shows his wounds to the apostles. It is through his wounds that our wounds are healed. <clears throat> On January 22, 1944, the Allied forces launched an amphibious assault on Anzio Beach in Italy against entrenched German forces. One young captain was so shocked by the withering German firepower that he abandoned his troops. He ran and hid. From his hiding place, he saw his men being mowed down by enemy fire. Weeks later, a fellow soldier invited him to accompany him on a visit to San Giovanni Rotondo to see this famous priest with the wounds of Christ. The captain refused. I do not need to see a priest, he said. His friend persisted and finally persuaded him to come with him by telling him that Padre Pio was the well-known priest known for bearing the stigmata, the wounds of Christ. When they arrived in the small town, there were streams of people waiting to go to confession to Padre Pio. As they were waiting in line, Padre Pio suddenly appeared and made his way toward them, blessing people as he went. Then the captain began calling out, Father, show us your wounds. Padre Pio ignored him. He kept calling out until finally Padre Pio fixed his gaze on the young man and he said, you show me your wounds. The soldier said, I have no wounds. I came to see your wounds. Padre Pio said, uh, yes, you do have wounds. And he invited him to come into the church for confession. Coming away from that experience, the captain felt the heavy weight that had bearing down upon him lifted from his shoulders. Friends, we are born again in water and spirit, and our growth in grace is ongoing over a whole lifetime. In our families, in all our relationships, the kingdom of God is there like the wind and the breeze ready to break into our world. Let us not be afraid to show our wounds to Christ in confession. He loves to heal them and renew his life within us. Amen.